How's it going? It's Lee here from Walking Derbyshire, Hail Stanley. And today I want to do something slightly different. I want to talk about my bivy setup. This is my system. <laughs> Posh way of calling it's like a, a modular sleep system. But um, first thing I've got, I've got this Van Gogh. It's a nice Star 250. It's a three season sleeping bag. It's got a comfort level of, of two degrees and transitionary down to minus three. It's a nice warm sleeping bag. Uh, nice and thick. It's fairly heavy, 1,650 grams. What I tend to do if I'm taking this, I take it out of the compression sack, put it in my rucksack. So the bivy itself, this is what I use. It's uh, an ex-army bivy, really quite lightweight. You can get these off eBay. It's Gore-Tex, which is probably one of the most important things when choosing a bivy. Condensation is going to form and you don't want to get yourself wet inside your bivy. Um, due to evaporation, ultimately you would end up getting cold. They're nice and big, I think they're about seven, eight foot long. There's actually room for your rucksack in here. Inside the bivy, I always put um, a roll mat. It's got a reflective side to it, uh, helps reflect the heat back in. So within the bivy, I put an inflatable floor mat. And this is an OEX uh, three quarter one. It's really important as well that you check the R value on these things. So you want, if you're going out in the winter, you probably want a, an R value of at least four. I can't stress enough the importance of having a good ground mat system. You can have the best sleeping bag in the world. You can have a four seasons down to minus 20 if you want. But if, if once that's compressed down on the floor, it's just gonna lose its insulating property. So it's vital that you have a really good ground mat. Um, this is a really cheap ground mat. Now this was from China, I think AliExpress. These things aren't rated. It's not got an R value and it's not worth risking if you're going out in the winter having one of these. Um, so I do recommend spending, if, if going out in the winter, I'd spend at least 50 pounds on, on the ground mat at, at the very least. Let's have a look at um, how I go about setting this all up. So that's kind of my winter bivy setup. Really interested to know your thoughts on bivying out in the peaks, out in Derbyshire. Is it something you would consider doing? Any tips and suggestions? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and I hopefully see you again soon. Cheers. Bye for now.